sun, moon, and stars into it. Greetings, suns and moons, and of course I have to welcome back all my stars. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the Mothership. I do appreciate the likes, the donations, the shares, the confirmations you sent me through email, the positive energy, show me the positive energy, you show yourself in overall the positive way, you show up in the planet. Now with that being said, let's get in there like a swimwear. Oh, that's a beautiful combination right there. Let's just take a moment here. A moment to reflect on all this goodness, all this glory, all this justice and balance being restored. We're talking about a new cycle, a cycle where all the delays have come to a complete halt. Now, it's up to you how you take advantage of this opportunity. I'm picking up the energy of a lot of confrontations. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that you are directly affected by it. This could be something that you observe here. All right. With the justice being here in the world of fortune, this is giving me this is not my battle. OK, somebody's learned their lesson. They're moved. They moved away. And because they moved away, this facilitated this facilitated some sort of change in your environment and possibly even your own destiny. We have justice here. Now, for some of you, somebody's being brought to justice. Obviously, this is surrounding an injustice, whether this is a lie, if this is malicious intent, whether if it is jealousy or envy, because I picked up green with envy before I turned on the camera. We're talking about trials and tribulations here, okay? Now, for some of you, you call judgment on someone, you brought yourself justice. Hopefully, you weren't directly involved in any altercations, but I do feel like there is a lot of confusion, okay, surrounding uh, uh, injustice. Now, for some of you, again, you are watching this take place in your environment, maybe across your timeline here. You may have been at an event, or this is surrounding an event. This altercation took place while somebody was traveling or um, you, you traveled away from someone. Someone came to you. OK, this is giving me you were not directly in the place where maybe you grew up with. Um, you were in foreign land, foreign land. OK, so we got the night of one. So we're definitely speaking about an action. Somebody acting in passion. This could be somebody that is going in between you and someone else. Or this could just be somebody that is very confident about who they want, what they want. This could be you pursuing your passions, obviously, with the Knight of Wands and the Ten of Cups. With the Empress being here, you're following your intuition. For some of you, somebody may be passionate about you. You may be picking this up intuitively and or this is surrounding um, someone that used their intuition and or somebody that got a reading, watch the reading. OK, there could be people coming together to affect or attempt to affect this high priestess or this empress <coughs> energy. Excuse me. Um, yeah. But for some of you, this may have something to do with a celebration, maybe a wedding. OK, some sort of event here. Let's see what happened. All right, so six of one. So we're talking about mental anguish. This is what I'm getting. Somebody encounters something that they didn't expect. This could be karma, repercussions of someone's actions, obviously. But not only that, this is somebody's worst nightmare. OK, you may be trying to stay away from this person. This person may be suffering from some form of depression. And if that is the case, you know, I have to give my disclaimer. If you are experiencing any mental, physical DV, financial issues, health issues. See out the proper authorities. This reading is for the entertainment purposes only. We got the star card. So somebody may be a celebrity. You could be an influencer or you have some sort of fame here. All right. People may come to you for advice. All right. This could also be surrounding. I'm hearing entrepreneurship, but I was going to say some sort of partnership. Somebody could be getting educated about the people in their environment. This could also be um, a marriage here, some sort of contract. I want to see what's up under here as well. Okay, so this contract has something to do with a soulmate. Okay, somebody may be studying you. This could be, um, what is that saying that people say? Uh, 
couple goals, <laughs> couple goals. I don't know if this person have, has a distorted version of what a couple is, but for some of you, it definitely is, okay? It just depends on what um, vibration you are on or these people are on, okay? I'm hearing something about a spectacle, a spectacle here. Either show me what it is I need to see. I've been pushing these readings out currently. It is nighttime, Friday night. So by the time you get this, it'll possibly be next week, Monday, Tuesday, around that time. So here we got the high priestess. Again, we're talking about somebody using their intuition, holding back and or saving. OK, somebody could, you know, you may be giving it up to source. We got four, four. We're talking about a Joel, uh, Joel uh, journey of the soul here. OK, somebody regret holding back from you. You release this energy. OK, you started building on yourself. You may also be entertaining someone new or this is about a choice. OK, you could be saving your finances here to go on some sort of excursion. I pick that up periodically. Some of you are currently on an excursion. You may see this when you come back or you're planning this, okay? So somebody got left out in the cold with a five of pentacles here, okay? Somebody got stuck with a lot of debt. This could be physical debt, karmic debt, but it released somebody. Somebody's able to start something new, okay? I feel like you're going to recover from this. All right. You are focusing on your work with the eight of pentacles, perfecting some sort of uh, skill here. Yeah. So there was some sort of truth surrounding work. OK, you may um, speak for a living. OK. Or somebody spoke a truth in regards to somebody with ill intentions. OK. I feel like you spoke a truth about someone, something was realized, and it put this person in an odd position with the five of pentacles here on the fence, okay? Somebody did not want you to use your intuition. They didn't want you to feel hopeful, joyful. Ethan, show me what it is I need to see. All right, this is how you... <laughs> yeah. All right, this is how you feel. So we got the nine of swords again, somebody's worst nightmare, all right? So uh, somebody got stuck with the debt here. Somebody got stuck with physical debt, karmic debt. All right. This King of Wands, they're not focusing on this partnership with the Nine of Cups. They may see you as wish fulfillment. They may want to collaborate with you as well. Okay. So somebody's gained a new perspective. And because you gained this new perspective, this is somebody's worst nightmare. Now, I feel like these individuals may be coming. Uh, I'm here coming to terms with something, the realization of something. But again, I've been picking up the energy of group conflict. OK, so currently, again, I'm doing this on a Friday all last week. OK, it was nothing but uh, ops going against each other. And it seems like everything is coming to a head. We got a, the knave of wands. So we're definitely speaking about studying. OK, apprenticeship, some sort of artistry some sort of talent, somebody gaining inspiration and building on that inspiration, possibly from the ground up. And we have the emperor. OK, so this could be the emperor focusing on a new venture. OK, either show me what it is I need to see. <sighs> so, yeah, Knight of Pentacles, I feel like that goes like that. So we're definitely speaking about somebody studying something new. And for you, this is like the follow the leader, Rakima say. <laughs> so Empress, whether if you want to be with this person or not, whether if you're with this person or not, somebody sees you as a muse. They gain inspiration from you. OK, or you are on the same vibration as this person, regardless if you want to be with this person or not, or if they want to be with you. Yeah. So this emperor may be finding out about some sort of betrayal. And because they found out this betrayal, they may have left someone to their own device, device or whatever. Why is the high priestess here? You can show me what it is I need to see. I mean, something about an offering. Somebody may want to come in and give you something. Maybe they did in the past. For some of you, you have uh, your ex or this person's ex studying your moves. They want to gain some sort of attention, but this person is looking kind of off the wall here to somebody here. OK, they may feel like you don't know or whoever this is doesn't know that they are involved or 
that they are mimicking you, want to be you, or did something diabolical to you in the past that got them in this position of bowing down here, possibly having to ask for outside assistance, wanting people to work with them here, okay? Somebody may have to take a lower paying position because they're in this energy of lack. Why is the high priestess here? Five of Cups. So we're talking about grief. I feel like you said something here. You spoke something about someone or this person, their person. And it got it has them in this energy of regretting. Okay. This person may have not believed in a gift that you have have or something that you prophesize. Why is the five of pentacles here? Ethan, show me what it is I need to see. I just seen the nine of cups. Um Reverse. So this person is heartbroken. I picked that up in the last prior readings. Make sure to check those out. If you are subscribed to tier three, there's a reading here for you. Okay. We got the three of swords. Um, talking about heartbreak, betrayal, or somebody not expecting to get um, left out in the cold. This is also someone that did not want you to get an offer, whether if you knew this person or not. Okay. They did a lot behind your back, or whoever this is back to block off somebody's path. All right. But you are in this energy of nine of cups, getting your wishes fulfilled, living in abundance, good health. Okay. Um, financial health. OK, this is going to resonate with everybody on um, in different energies or different levels, whatever your level of success. This could be something minute or something really big. But for some of you, it's really big here. And if it's not there currently, it will be because somebody's going to gain um, an epiphany or they're kind of they're going to come out of this debt lack type of energy okay nine of swords somebody's wishing that they could take something back maybe this pettiness okay so somebody's structure is is crumbling here with the four stabs on the fence on top of the nine of swords okay so this is somebody that did something that they didn't have to do. Maybe they attempted to delay you, delay whoever this is. Okay, they lack foresight. They didn't see this happening, that they would be this person uh, seeking um, help, asking for mercy. Okay, somebody not um, really caring about their livelihood. I feel like somebody moved on. OK, this was a surprise. Obviously, there could have been an altercation surrounding this new beginning. Somebody being passionate, of course, having to start from the beginning with some creative venture. OK, yeah, we got the page of staffs and the queen of staffs. OK, if this person. OK, here's the thing. Somebody may have moved on really quickly, whether if you know it or not. OK, I feel like this is somebody that this emperor is dealing with. They already had someone. OK, this, this queen of wands already has someone waiting. But the thing is, this person that's waiting lacks maturity. This is this queen of wands uh, karma. OK, yeah, eight of cups because you moved away. So this person may for some of you, this person may be trying to throw this individual up in your face or they send it a little in with in the windows, little hints. They want you to be jealous here. They want you to get into a back and forth scenario with this person. Could be male or female. It doesn't really matter. With the ten of staffs, somebody became burdened by a choice. Not making a choice or choosing the wrong person. With the Knight of Staff, somebody is in this energy of getting their wishes fulfilled. And I believe it's that page of Staff's energy, because um, this is the same person here. This is the same person that's on the page of Staff's, okay? So they were a part of placing burdens on you. You could have got a reading, and this is something that was prophesied. You could have picked up on this intuitively, whether if you are male or female, whether if you do readings, watch readings, okay, pay for readings. With the Knight of Stabs here, somebody's wish fulfillment became their worst nightmare. Somebody also played this person out like they played you or played others in their environment because we have the Knight of Stabs here. This person is getting their wishes fulfilled, 
possibly with multiple people, with the Knight of Staffs and the Three of Cups. Somebody is getting treated like an option here. Of course, we got the energy of somebody waiting, waiting for results, waiting in line. I don't know. Yeah. For some of you, you may find out that this person is creeping or they have had some intimate contact with a family member and or a friend. Three of Cups, why is this here? The lovers, yeah. I'm trying to tell you. Somebody is finding out. They're getting their wishes fulfilled because I feel like this person came in between you and your person. Um, this King of Wands and this Ten of Wands. For some of you, this King of Wands and a Page of Staffs is working together to place burdens on you and or this person. Okay. Um, they may be going back and forth between you and someone else, telling your business, telling what you like, what you don't like. Um, but I feel like this is this may be an open relationship for somebody, but it was a wake up call from for someone that sent them into their emotions. This person found out about a betrayal that involved you or someone else, someone they work with. Knave of Wands, you may have tried to warn this person. Uh, if you did, this person may have cut you off, maybe even left you. I'm getting the feeling like somebody thinks somebody is weird or what somebody said was weird or what somebody does is weird. Knave of Wands. This came out on the fence. That's the page of wands. Again, I just have to look at that. That's the page of wands here. So somebody wanted you to miss out on an opportunity. This could also be a child. Someone doesn't know um, who the child's father is. Okay, somebody was let down from some, for some from some information and burdened them. If I sound a little out of it a little whatever it's because it's late and I want to get these readings out you know I want to get them out so I can enjoy the next few days okay Knight of Pentacles why is these here why is this here Eight of Pentacles why is this here the world card wanted to come out. So a cycle is complete when it has something to do with somebody working with you, somebody's work, body of work, the things that they've done in the past. You may have found found out that it was an empty investment mm, and there go the altercation. So there was a battle about some sort of offer. What to invest in is also what I'm um, picking up here. I, can't, I don't know, maybe... I'll get a different type of energy next week because, again, I'm filming this on Friday. So we're getting the, I guess, the remnants of what's taking place in the people that were deceptive surrounding you um, and or a family member. Either you were directly involved in this, this was told to you, or you witnessed this. Eight of Pentacles, why is this here? Either show me. So somebody is done juggling um, a marriage, okay? Somebody could also be invest, um, investing in higher learning. Somebody is into minds or juggling a decision when it comes down to do with um, tradition versus religion or something like that. Yeah, somebody has like their boundaries up this could have something to do with family members. Maybe you're holding back. You may want a family member out of your house or something like that. Somebody causes a lot of illusions or they just get too intoxicated here. You may be waiting 
for some of you, you may be actively like looking for plane tickets or train tickets. I don't know why I'm picking that up. I just am. So we got 1945 on the clock. These will be pretty quick. These are going to be pretty quick readings here. Five of Pentacles. Why is this here? Resentment and misfortune. So, yeah, I mean, you know, they're resenting the choice here because that choice sent them into debt. Somebody was betrayed. There was a divorce. There was some sort of scandal, a loss of property, a loss of a job. And we got resentment. Four of staffs. Why is this here? Coldness and misfortune. Yeah, because the cycle is complete. Camouflage. So somebody was trying to hide the truth. They're trying to not show their hand. They're trying to act as if everything is easy peasy. Let me squeezy. It is definitely not. This person is masking that they are hurt. They're frustrated because they didn't get a solid commitment here. I picked this energy up on tier three as well. So again, check that out if this resonates with you. We got law and wholeness. I, I, when I seen the law, what came after was order. Okay, so the order may have been you detaching from this person, this place, this situation. Okay, you getting inspired and moving forward. You may also be hiding the fact that you may be getting married or you want to marry someone. Okay. Kudos to you. Why is this five of cups here? Either show me what it is I need to see. Come on. <laughs> yeah, offer the cups here. I'm getting don't cry over spilled milk. That's what I'm getting. Okay. So somebody didn't trust their intuition or they didn't trust something that was prophesized here. Okay. Somebody's letting uh, some form of addiction go. It could be caffeine. It could be substance. It could be, you know, partying too much. It could be relations. Take it how it resonates, but that's what I'm getting here. Okay. Yeah. Somebody is, you know, in their feelings here because they thought that they was going to get something. And someone is definitely not apologetic. I'm getting it was time here. It was time to end something. It was time to reject this offer. It's like somebody couldn't come to terms with something that took place. And with this cups here, I feel like it has something to do with a child. Three of swords. Why is this here? Yeah, not today. Um, you know, somebody don't want to deal with this person that is burdensome. I'm going to leave that right there. This person takes a lot of risks and somebody is, you know, heartbroken. This may be somebody that stayed in a commitment because it's the right thing to do, but they quickly found out that they were being used or somebody was cheating here. You may have spoken truth about this person cheating, maybe conceiving a child somewhere else. And this person got in this you know, defensive mode and um, wanting to bring the pain to somebody. This could be like a petty party also where somebody that's not as fast may cheat and this other person cheated. But when they cheated, there was a baby conceived. But somebody had an outdated belief system and it was time for them to be broken down to the last compound so they can change their perspective. So what was once their wish fulfillment became a nightmare here. Knight of Staffs, why is this here? And somebody is still um, making poor choices. This is somebody that results back to the old ways of doing things. This could also be someone that leaves open doors. So they go back to their exes and they kind of like uh, rotate them or something like that. Knight of Staffs, girl with a popcorn. So that this person has... Um, escapism issues and that's how they escape they use people you know that whole um, I use a, I use another one to get over the other one I forgot the name of that person that sings that but some of y'all y'all know what I'm talking about and I was just going to put that on the lover's card here so 
um, another one of the verses from the from that song is, um, "I love them all. I love them all." Uh, he thinks I love them, but I love them all type of thing. So this person, you know. I feel like this Knight of Staffs is going to get into this energy where they're going to start running after people that don't really want to give them a commitment. Or maybe this was this emperor in the past. They was being burdened by a choice that they made, not following their intuition, possibly blocking you or not giving you an offer. So they jumped into the escapism energy. Okay. Uh, with the Nine of Cups, this is somebody that sees you as wish fulfillment, however they felt. They feel guilty. They feel guilty, possibly embarrassed. So they resort to partying and or um, just all in all making bad choices. But not only that, this is somebody that feels like, you know, I don't want no commitment. So they may have people that they entertain. OK, um, but these are all people that are karmic in nature. All right. So this says unconditional love but I'm picking up unrequited love so this person may you know um, end up resenting another choice here that they make um, you know somebody's very frustrated because they're they're wishing that they gave an offer to you they may have felt like they gave an offer to the right person in the past but it was a contract there Somebody was being deceived. They are in this energy of constantly having to battle. Okay. Somebody that they chose over you. Okay. Butterfly. It comes out on the fence. So this person is in the midst of some sort of transformation. Right. Right. We got healing, healing heart, separation, karmic relationship, not enough. And teasing is just like a flirtatious thing. Um, this is giving me somebody that always goes after people that don't want them. And even if they lay down with them, they go after people that um, have commitment phobia or something like that. OK, so for some of you, you may have been in this energy, but there was some sort of transformation because the butterfly is here on the fence. Maybe somebody wanted you to battle other people to get this position. OK, but this could also be um, a retraction of an offer, um, something not coming to full term here when it comes down to somebody's work. OK. Somebody may have gotten fired or something like that. And now they have to multitask is also what I'm getting. Why is this two of pentacles here? Twin flames. <laughs> so you definitely have um, this in common with your person. If you're with this person, if you're not with this person, they're in this energy of juggling a decision. Okay. Um, and it's surrounding work. Maybe this person is juggling you and work. Maybe they want to work with you because I, I keep getting the energy of commitment. OK. Somebody's in this energy of mastering a craft or completing a cycle. But they have to release baggage from the past, whether if it's a person or energy. Right. Um, I feel like that's it. Either show me what it is I need to see. Impeccability of the word can be measured by your level of self-love. If you love yourself, you will express that love in your interactions with others, and that action will produce a like reaction. You are alive, so take your life and enjoy it. You were born with the right to be happy, to love, and to share your love. Just to be, to take a risk and enjoy your life is all that matters. You can show me what it is I need to see. Planting seeds. 
We got honor the man or woman that you are. Take the risk to express your dream. Taking action is about living fully and expressing what you are. Okay. Live in your truth. Speak your truth. Don't be afraid. Your word is the power that you have to create. It is a gift that comes directly from God. Okay. This is somebody that needs to follow their heart. They may have been heartbroken. They may have been in this energy of resentment. But now is the time to follow your heart. Okay. I hope this reading gave you some clarity. Deuces.